On August 25, 2020, Kyle Rittenhouse, a 17-year-old from Illinois, fatally shot two and wounded another during protests and riots in Kenosha, Wisconsin that followed by shooting of a black man by a police officer named Jacob Blake. Rittenhouse and the three men he shot were white. So the story will not end as what you expect, namely his death, because the court found Rittenhouse not guilty for intentional homicide, reckless homicide, attempted intentional homicide, among other counts. The judge even cleared Rittenhouse of a charge that he was a minor, aged 17 at the time of the shooting, in possession of a dangerous firearm. The courtroom claims he acted in self-defense, but there was no accountability for even manslaughter, which means the victims who lost their lives and their loved ones will not see any justice. On November 19, Madison Cawthorn, Matt Gates, and Paul Gozer offered an internship position to Kyle Rittenhouse. That offer was given to him after he failed to be found guilty in the court. In response to the offer, Rittenhouse's criminal defense attorney said he thinks his client pursuing a career in politics would not be a wise thing to do. It is worth saying that those representatives who offered the internship position to Rittenhouse are known for their racism. Gates, one of Trump's biggest fans and a white supremacy theory supporter and advocate, has a long record of racist comments. He is a big supporter of Great Replacement Theory, neglecting Native Americans as real and original Americans, as saying that all immigrants vote monolithically for the Democratic Party of the United States. The biggest racist and white supremacist of all time, Donald Trump, went even so far as to congratulate the white murderer as well as praising the court's verdict. Although the United States tries to portray a rosy picture of itself, the bitter truth was what we all witnessed on November 20. White people can kill and receive job offers while minorities are being stumped. Throughout this country's history, the hallmarks of American so-called democracy have been largely reserved for white people through the intentional exclusion and oppression of people of color. The deep racial and ethnic inequities that exist today are a direct result of structural racism. For example, the murder of George Floyd, suffocated by a police officer in the United States, has made the serious problem of racism and police violence in that country visible again. But this way of looking at it is too simplistic. It is necessary not to lose sight of the fact that that policeman was a university graduate, as well as the fact that his crime, which joined many other similar ones, was only one of the ways in which racism was expressed in that society. It cannot be omitted that this racism is historically constitutive of that society, and that it is structural. It permeates all its institutions and is reproduced through them. America is dying from rotting roots. Racism and vandalism are not imported to the US, but are innately intertwined with the country's cruel constitutions. You cannot rehabilitate a tree whose roots are rotten. Reporting from Tehran Times, thank you for watching.